Hi, succulents fans! Welcome to my channel, The Way to Succulents. I'm Wei. As always, I would love to share my way of being succulents with you. Today, I would like to give you a tour of my greenhouse. First, let's have a look. That is my greenhouse. I made a video about it. Go to my channel and you will find the details, the advantage and the disadvantage about it. Okay, and now I would like to show you the first part of the greenhouse. Ta-da! Here, right behind me, you see these white shelves. Those I bought from IKEA, I love them. They are super, super useful. Like, get closer and have a look. I use them as my propagation station. These are all my propagation babies. See? The roots are growing, babies are growing, roots are growing. And the second function, I use them as planters. Have a look. Look at that guy here. These babies will grow really well. Since these propagations, they will come up with babies. And then that's stage two, planters. Look at here. You can also use it as a planter this way. Just plant them into an individual pot and then put them inside. It's super, super useful. For propagation, actually, I use mainly two ways to propagate. The first, as you see, that's put onto the surface of the soil. And the other way is uh, putting on the top of paper towels. And then time a lot. Look at these topsy turvies. They are the easiest one to propagate. Actually, I made a video about topsy turvy. For beginners, that is really awesome succulent. Go and get it. And the second part I would like to show you is underneath of these shelves. Okay, now look at, at the foot of these shelves. There are some planters with plants. You may say they look normal to you. Yes, of course, they are normal because they are just plain black buckets. When they first came with these plants, it's just like a plastic planter, like a lot of the planters. But I don't want to rip out them and I want to use these buckets. What I did, I just put a surface, a cover for these buckets, make them to be beautiful planters. Now they do look better. What do you think? And actually, they serve as a good wall to stop these shelves from falling off. But of course, if it's a windy day, I should worry about it. And uh, now I would like to show you is these curtains. Uh, I love these uh, cactus curtains. Uh, let's have a closer look. Ta-da! I could buy some curtains uh, from this tent company, but uh, it's the plain base color one. But like uh, succulent growers uh, and fans, uh, I definitely want something related to succulents. Uh, I actually just covered the west part of the greenhouse because that is where the strong sun, burning sun coming into. The succulents, they love sun, but they don't want to be burnt or baked. Now let's look at this part. That island, actually the whole thing almost are all from Restores. First, let have a closer look. These planters, they are not really planters. They were light globes. Let's take one and have a look. See, that is a light globe. I found they are the best for succulents. I made a video about the introduction of these light globes, how to use them as succulent planters. And this is my adopted daughter, another way. I found her and I got her home and then uh, she came home without a dress, uh, but just a frame. And I made her, I made her a succulent dress. Hi, another way. And uh, 
This table is amazing. I also got it from Restore. You see the top layer, it carries loads of these planters. And this part here, you can use hooks and hang basket around. And at the bottom layer here, there's a shelf. I'm planning to buy another piece of glass and put it on the top. So it, it can carry another big loads of planters. And the bottom part, actually, I could also use them um, and I just put planters on the ground. By the way, look at this propagation station. They look happy. What do you think? Oh, look at my hanging jade. They really enjoy the sun. When I grow them indoor, they were kind of green. And now you see it's changing color. So pink, so red and yellow. Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. And this hanging basket, uh, I also love them. And these white big planters are also one type of my favorite planters. I normally like the plain planters. When I see this type of planters, I will buy. I'm quite picky. And another type of planters I use, you see these baskets. They are really good planters as well because you don't need to worry about drainaging. There are holes and then uh, when you water, the water would just flow out of the planter easily. These are all my planters. Look at these big guys here. These are the light seed of our house. When we first moved into the house and uh, we took some old light fixtures off, we didn't like those. And then I started use those as planters. They are awesome. They are big enough, they are shallow, that's perfect for succulents because they don't really need a really deep, deep planter. Their roots are super shallow. And this part, I love this lamp stand because you can see it has the different level and I can put my things like thermometer and the books and the snacks ball underneath. These are all useful let's have another look of my greenhouse actually i'm setting up another one next to this one so i can just move my other parts of plants out into the greenhouse i have another like three times more plants maybe i need them look over there they're everywhere Look, I will plant these in the planters over there when it's warm up, but not right now because in uh, Wisconsin it's still quite cold. Tonight the temperature would go down to 1 degree centigrade by Celsius, and uh, if it's uh, very hot, it's 34 tonight. Ooh. And right over there, you can see there is a guy is wearing a hat. It's my dog, Mango. We call it mango because uh, I love mango fruit uh, and uh, it's yellow color, I love yellow. And the third region is uh, go, means uh, dog in Chinese. Uh, and it's busy, mang means busy, busy dog. I'm busy too. So that's why he has the name of mango. I haven't made him a jacket yet, but I will make him a succulent jacket. I will compose a video about how do I make it. And hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, if you like, please hit the love button. And as always, if you love it, please share with others. Bye for now.